We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. brings us a Sunday evening game here in Oakley. South Melbourne travel to take on the Cannons. And Johnny Cairo, it's been a tough couple of weeks for South. They'd love to get back on the winners list today. It certainly has been, David, and South do need to win this game to pick up the pressure on the Bentley Greens at the top of the table. South are currently five points behind Bentley as we speak. Uh, but it's going to be very difficult. We have a makeshift defence tonight uh, with so many injuries and suspensions, David. So we'll see how we go tonight against the Cannons. Well, the fans are in good voice. They're right behind the South boys tonight. Let's see if they can repay the faith and get back on the winning track. Track. Dangerous there, Piemonte, but runs straight into his opponent in South, trying to launch something on the counter attack. But Oakley keep the numbers coming forward, and here comes Bosniak going through, gets the shot away, but couldn't get the power accuracy behind it that he needed. Karoma pushing up, Epifano plays a one-two with Karoma, couldn't quite reach it, and Wilmont gets the big clearing kick. Hatsumuratis, the former South man. Well, the flag stayed down from the initial ball. Piemonte saw he's brought down by Constantinides, and Constantinides in real trouble here. It's a red card. He was last man. He tackled him just outside the box before Piemonte could get the shot off. Well, John, South Melbourne for the third week in a row, down to 10 men. Well, David, uh, there's howls of protest on this near side from the South coaching staff. They thought that this initial play was offside, the Oakley player offside. The linesman keeping his flag down. Piemonte put through by Bosnia. That's a great ball. Piemonte looks onside as well and Christian Constantinides is only 12 minutes uh, in his comeback game. He's been out for a couple of months and he's been given a red card. The correct decision by the referee. Bosniak. And Bosniak hits the top corner. A scorching free kick right from the edge of the box and a bad start's just become a nightmare for South. They're down to 10 men and after just 12 minutes Bosniak's hit the back of the net. 1-0 Oakley. Well, it's a double blow, isn't it, uh, David? Uh, Bosniak, former South Junior as well. That's a peach of a free kick. Fantastic free kick, and he's having an excellent 2016 season so far. He uh, puts that over the wall and into the back of the net, past Nikola Raganovic, who is guarding that, that far side. And it's a fantastic free kick. The Cannons have the lead and the extra man. Well, South Melbourne, they just need to find a way to rally in this game. Bosniak gets past one and another and then Bosniak fires the shot in. Had a man out wide there, it was Goran Zoric. Maybe should have used him. Onos delivers the goal kick. Very high, it's a relatively short ground here. Edwards reserve and gets some real distance with that. Epifano's header goes back to Hutsi Costas. Played back, Lambropoulos. Oh, that's a poor pass, Lambropoulos through to Lynch. He's brought down, that'll have to be a penalty. Onos is gonna be in real trouble here. He was the last man. And the ball's gone into the back of the net. I think it was deflected. Is that I think the goal? goal's being given, David. Uh, Pantoliti's own goal, uh, deflecting off him into the back of the net. But uh, I, I would think it's a red card here for Hornos for taking down Lewich after the uh, after the striker got around him. But uh, the referee, Lucien Leverde, was, uh, I don't think he's paying anything. We'll see from the replay. Um, looked like a relatively harmless ball from Steve um, Hatsikostas. Lambropoulos there with a poor back pass. Milos Lewich gets there before the advancing Hornos. And uh, you see it deflects off Pantelides and goes in the back of there. But Hornos has just brought him down after Lewis has tried to dribble past him. I can't see why a red card isn't awarded here, David. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, the referee, Lucien, uh, hasn't given it. And South have been given a goal. But uh, Oakley still have 11 men on the field. Perhaps we might have taken a penalty there in, and a red card. But uh, nevertheless, we are on level terms. Well, an interesting game. It's hard to read so far. Some unusual decisions. Nevertheless, South Melbourne against the odds, it's 1-1, uh, one, one, and that's a terrible pass from Wilmot. He's missed Pantelides, he's given it straight to Monopolis, and it's 2-1 South Melbourne. Unbelievable. Down to 10 men, down 1-0 after just 12 minutes, and they've turned this game on its head. Another poor pass in the Oakley defence, a gift for Monopolis, but in truth it was a lovely finish too. He sent Honus to ground and tucked it past him. Well, it's two defensive errors in a uh, very quick time from the Cannons here. It's uh, Aaron Wilford here with the stray ball uh, to Pantelides who can't get it. Lee Monopolis putting the pressure on, gets there, 
and he's got Milosevic as well there uh, ready for a tap in uh, Monopolis though waits for Honos to come out and then puts it past him for 2-1 this is an excellent uh, come from behind uh, effort from South so early on in the match just half an hour in after going 1-0 down you see there the mistake made by the Cannons defence Lee Monopolis I'm not sure what Honos is doing there sort of opens the goal up for Lee Monopolis just to place that in the back of the net nevertheless South have a 2-1 lead very unlikely Raganovic, that one holds up in the breeze a bit, definitely favouring the right-hand end of screen and uh, that'll be a foul on Schroen, he acknowledges it, advantage paid, sits for Hatsi Costas, Hatsi Muratis I should say, former South man out wide, Zorich, Zorich gets around Kroma, Zorich is cross played in, it might sit up, chance now, Georgopoulos on the turn, left foot shot, flying not that far wide of the upright. Raganovic, oh that clearance isn't what was needed, Raganovic, he might have given it back here, Eager comes out, deals with it for the moment, and they might be on the counter-attack here, South, Monopolis, he's been a very valuable addition to the side, gives it out wide to Epifano, he's got a couple of men in the box, Epifano, nice turn, gets in space, Epifano, that's a disappointing finish, he sent that one well wide and high. Dangerous position, Bosniak, we saw what he did from a few metres away earlier, Bosniak's free kick, Raganovic gets the parry, straight back down to Epifano, not quite dealt with, Piemonte chips that in, opportunity at the far post, Matthew Miller got in and put the back of his head in the way, and South Melbourne dodging a bit of a bullet there. The corner, they've got some tall men in the box, whipped in high, looking for Pantelides, whose header goes over the bar. He looked to have shoved his opponent there, Pantelides. John, what does the replay show us? Well, the referee has given a goal kick here. We'll see from the replay, Pantelides with a bit of a push there, I think, on uh, Schroen. But nevertheless, the ball's gone over for a goal kick. Taking that free kick short, and as we close in on half-time, Oakley, it'd be disappointing not to be leading this game, really given a dream start and uh, not taking advantage of it. High, long ball played there, an excellent ball, really chance. Hatsi Maratas, and it's gone in! A goal from a long ball, a goal from nothing. And well, South's captain Michael Eager and Raganovic looking at each other. They're not pleased, a defensive mistake really. Hatsi Maratis, he got in space, he got the header and Oakley pulled back just before half-time. Well, it's a great uh, great time for Oakley to score their goal right on the half-time break. We're in the second minute of uh, injury time here. Uh, nice long ball from Lambropoulos and it finds uh, former South man Dimi Hatsi Muratis and uh, he's just gotten in between. He's lost his marker, Matthew Miller. He's gotten in between Michael Eger, the captain, and Nikola Raganovic, the goalkeeper, and he puts that on target. Raganovic coming out initially, would have saved it if he was on his line. He came out though, committed, got a hand to it, but it's still gone in the back of the net, 2-2 at the break. South defensive woes get worse and worse after having a, their key man sent off. Matthew Pashini's injured at halftime. On comes Iki Jawadi. Fano plays it in, he wanted Monopolis, he just misses him. And Piemonte looks to launch a counter-attack. Oh, Bosniak didn't deal with that well. Schroen with the shots. Schroen didn't have the time to get that one set up, but South looking to press the Oakley defence. It's a good ball coming forward, and Oakley have to get something going. Ball play forward, opportunity now maybe for Bosniak. Goes down, doesn't appeal, referee waves it away. I think he just overbalanced on that one. And Monopolis keeping his feet. Does really well there, but can't find Milos Lujic. Oakley, that extra weight of numbers is really telling, although at the moment it's Matty Miller who comes charging in, chops it off, opportunity, Lujic one-on-one, Lujic, he's hit the post! He has hit the post, that was a golden chance, and 3-2 early in the second half, John, would have been telling. Very telling for 10 men as well, David, uh, because at 3-2 up south, we'll have something to defend here uh, with the uh, one man less disadvantage. Uh, Lewich put through there by Miller, goes for the near post, possibly should have gone for the far post. Uh, Honos covered his near post well, and it's hit the near post and gone out for a goal kick. Great Eager. chance for south. Eager goes long. Header played in, still going here, Monopolis. That tenacious energy is fantastic. Monopolis, the shot. And there's goalkeeper Honos to get in the way. They've got some tall numbers in there. Oakley played in. South Melbourne player looked to be taken out there. Schroen went to ground. Opportunity still alive there. And the shot comes in for Piemonte. Great save by Raganovic. And eventually South Melbourne get it away. But in the initial play, it looked like a foul, John. Well, let's have a look, David. Uh yeah, well, certainly looked like a foul on Sharon Lucy and the referee right there doesn't call it and uh, the ball's bobbling around and eventually falls to Piemonte at the edge of the box. Fires a rocket of a shot right to the bottom corner, but uh, luckily Raganovic makes the save. Amadou Karoma. 
He's had to play a few positions recently. Amadou Karoma Shroen trying too hard to get that one over to Maddie Miller and they might come undone here south. Karoma's clearance wasn't up to it. In through Hatsi Morates. Charged down by Raganovic. They're still on here, Oakley. And South Melbourne are clinging on in this game. Well, South dodging a bullet here. Amadou Karoma not clearing the ball properly in a force to the former South man, Hatsi Morates, who scored right on half time. He tries to place that past Raganovic, but Raganovic makes a good block. Well, that's a foul there against Liminopolis. Frustrating, just had a bit too much. His hands on the body there. And Wilford just pulling rank on that one, paying the long ball down the right. Lovemore. Lovemore waits. He's got some South players in front of him. Opportunity still, maybe. Hatsi Muratis has space, has time to turn it in. The danger man, Bosniak, and it's 3 2 Oakley. And it's Dusan Bosniak again. He's a very dangerous finisher. He celebrates with the Oakley bench. And maybe that might really hurt South's chances in this game, John. They've been good at the start of the second half. But Dusan Bosniak, you can't leave him space like that. Well, David, it's all about taking your opportunities. We saw down the other end, uh, Milos Luic having a great chance to make it 3-2 make it to South and give us something to defend. At the other end, though, Oakley going forward. Uh, and it's a nice cutback from Hatsi Muratis to his uh, partner there in, um, in Dusan Bosniak. And he's already scored tonight. And he's put another one past Raganovic. He'll be disappointed to concede that. Uh, from the edge of the box and South really have a mountain to climb now. Yeah, Raganovic will be really filthy at that, letting that one in. It's a nice finish though from Bosniak, his second of the night, 3-2 to Oakley. Pantelides goes long, but he goes straight to Iki Jawadi. And really is a pinball machine at the moment. Oakley coming up with it, charging forward. Opportunity, he's through here. Maybe Lovemore keeps his feet. He's got Piemonte, Lovemore still going, and it's a nice finish by Lovemore. He turned onto his left foot, he shot across the body, and maybe, just maybe, John, it might be fading for South now. They're two down, less than half an hour to go, and with a man less, it really is a huge task from here. It certainly is, David, and uh, Oakley, um, with Lovemore, the substitute, he's only been on for about five minutes, and he's been involved in one goal and then scored another one. Bit of a bobble there, and uh, it benefits the Oakley the Oakley substitutes as he weaves in and out of the defence, makes some space for himself and finishes with the left foot calmly and coolly past Nikola Roganovic. It is a very nice individual goal and the fourth goal for the Cannons this evening. You see from behind the goals, the, the best angle of all. Cuts inside there, gets some space, puts it past Roganovic and it looks like the Cannons are going to win this match. Zikostas finds Lujic and well done, Monopolis wins that one back. Schroen, they haven't given up South. Their effort's been fantastic tonight against the odds. Now chance Monopolis chips it in towards goal, but uh, Honos was there to catch that one easily. Miller had to play at an unfamiliar position most of the game. Hatsi Costas, well done keeping that alive. Hatsi Costas, and they're still pushing here south. You never know if they can pull something back. Maybe here Monopolis, tees up Schroen. Schroen back to Monopolis. Monopolis again for Schroen! And Schroen's shot is tapped over the bar by Honos, and it is just not falling for South at the moment. Well, full credit to South with 10 men, for having played with 10 men for so long, they're still really pushing forward, trying to get back into this match. Good play here uh, by Monopolis and Schroen. Right-footed shot and a good save by Honos over the bar. Back to Honos. Bit of a heavy touch there initially. Luic goes to close him down. That's a shocking clearance there by Honos, straight to Epifano. Epifano, time to look, plays it in. Chance for Milos Luic, one on one, he's brought down. It's a penalty. That's surely a and red card time, as well, John, David. You're right, it has to be a red card. And no, somehow we've seen a last man red card decision given against South 12 minutes in, and now twice somehow Oakley have dodged that bullet. That is beyond belief, John. Well, David, if the first, if there's any controversy with the first one, I, I really don't think there should be any doubt about this one. Luic just played through by Pafano, a nice little ball to set him through. He's through on goal, he's about to shoot. He's just brought down by Pantelides. That should be a red card and a penalty to South. Instead, it's just a penalty and Pantelides considers himself very, very fortunate to only be given a yellow card. Luic steps up. Is there hope for South yet? Yes, there is. Calmly tucks the penalty past Honos in goals. And with 18 minutes left of regular time, Milos Luic brings South back into this game. 4-3, John, an amazing game, regardless of how it ends up. Well, like we said, David, South have been pushing forward, uh, even though they've had the two-goal deficit and the one-man deficit as well. Milos Luic stepping up, uh, waiting for Honos to commit, and then rolls the ball the other way past the keeper and into the back of the net. We still have a chance here. There's probably roughly 20 minutes to go, so there, I'm sure there'll be one or two opportunities for us to hopefully get a leveller. Uh, but uh, a nice penalty all the same. South now 4-3 behind. 
Gunovic goes flat towards Miller. Monopolis gets in the way, and if they can sit for Miller, just maybe. Oh, well done, Matty Miller. Squares it up. Epifano with the chance, and Epifano needed power behind that, and he just couldn't get that magic touch he's had so many times. Well, we just said it. There was going to be opportunities for, for us to maybe pinch an equaliser, and that's a really good opportunity. Um, unfortunately, a weak shot from Epifano in the end, following some very good build-up play from Matty Miller. Corner comes in, looking for... Eager at the near post, and maybe that was the wrong option because Oakley can punish South on the counter-attack. Hutsi Costas, he can't slide, he's on a yellow already. Another red card would just about kill South off permanently, and Oakley Lovemore now. He can just about end things officially in this game. Lovemore tries to go around Karoma. Lovemore tees it up, opportunity, and it's gone wide. It was uh, Piemonte, I think, in the end there with the shot. Hutsi Costas comes to the bench. Last roll of the dice for South. The fast-running Chris Irwin comes on. Miller takes it quickly, Epifano assesses the options, has to get a ball in, something dangerous needs to happen, he wanted Monopolis, but Honos too close, and it's just not sitting for South at the moment. Bosniak, two goals, and maybe an assist here with an excellent ball forward, Raganovic comes out to meet that before any harm can be done. Long high ball, it's bobbling around, and now Epifano, he's got Schroen, he uses Schroen, Schroen tries to break through, Schroen, on the right foot, goes wide, Epifano plays it and it's deflected wide for a corner and still south are pressing, but they can't break through. Is there one last chance here for Raganovic? He goes to pump it long and the whistle beats him. An incredible game, a seven goal thriller, Oakley four, South Melbourne three. An amazing contest between the two sides. South Melbourne with 10 men for 80 minutes of this game fought as hard as you can hope them to fight and just couldn't get there in the end. Well, David, for a neutral watching this game, it would be excellent. Same with the Bentley game last week, but unfortunately for us, we've come out uh, losing again. Scored three goals. Unfortunately, some defensive lapses saw Oakley score four goals and they've ended up getting the three points tonight. South in real danger of missing top spot now. This week's Melbourne City Toyota Player of the Match Award goes to a man who ran hard all game and chipped in with a goal. Well done, Lehmanopoulos. Talking to Chris Taylor, Chris obviously very disappointed. The effort of the players, fantastic for large parts of the game and really deser didn't deserve that. Oh look, you know, it's, it's disappointing. I mean, I think, we, we, you know, last three games we've had send-offs. I think the, the part that we're disappointed tonight, you know, with the officials, three last-man challenges, we cop a red card, they cop a yellow card and no card, uh, and they're all identical. Obviously, we've had real problems with injuries and suspensions killing us over the last few weeks. I suppose one of the one of the real upsides of this is Lee Monopolis' form has been fantastic. It's good to know that at least uh, up front, Lee and, and Milos look like they work quite well together. Yeah, look, again tonight, Lee, Lee was outstanding, looked dangerous every time he got the ball, finished really well for his goal. Um, you know, we're just having a torrid time at the back, as you saw today. You had to make, we get KK sent off, had to change Fischini at half-time. Uh, we're just running out of numbers there, but uh, I can't fault the effort, you know, and sometimes that's what the supporters want. They, uh, they they demand effort from the boys right till the end. I thought we got that tonight, but just didn't get that bit of luck going our way. Uh, what about Matthew Fashini? Because obviously he was changed at half-time, no one really saw what happened to him. Is he OK? Uh, look, he's, he's, uh, he's got a pretty sore ankle. I think it was from a, one of the challenges, but, um, you know, that, that's football for you. Um, we just uh, have to assess him in the week and see how we go for next week with him. We've had a massive few weeks. Uh, some of the toughest games we've played this year, Hume, Bentley and now Oakley as well, all finals-bound teams. Uh, not an easy game next week against Melbourne Victory Youth, although with a couple of players coming back, we really do need to bounce back in that game. Yeah, look, we certainly do. I mean, it's disappointing and you know we're just speaking about it then you know we can come in and sort of say we played well this week we played well last week but at the end of the day it's about getting results and uh, one point in three games just ain't good enough for South so